So the part I needed to fix the lathe was on back order for, I don't know, month and a half, two months. And then I was out of town for my new job for four and a half weeks. So this came halfway through me being out of town. So we finally have everything we need and we're ready to put the lathe back together and finally get it fixed. So the original problem with the lathe was that this threaded adapter was seized onto the spindle, the threads on there, um, which is why we had to remove this and ultimately why this broke because we were putting too much force on it trying to get it off. Um, thankfully, the adapter here was a very inferior metal. Um, I ended up taking a welding torch to it and just cutting it in half and it did absolutely no damage to the threaded portion of the spindle. So that's a huge win. We only needed to get a new adapter versus a new spindle. Um, also in the first video I kind of misspoke. These uh, bolts here are actually the pickups for the RPM sensor. There's a uh, yellow pickup on here. And basically as these bolts pass it, it counts them and that's what counts RPMs. Um, if you are not removing the bearing from the spindle, then these can actually stay on. But if your bearing is kind of seized into the housing on the lathe, then you may have to take them off like I did. Um, I've gone ahead and reinstalled them and basically we are ready to go ahead and uh, put the spindle back in the lathe. So we'll go ahead and put our spindle with the large bearing installed through the uh, hole where the housing goes. We'll take our keyway and install it back on the spindle. Now we can go ahead and put our pulley on. The small side is gonna go to the left. And then our new brake coupling, or whatever it is, will go on also. And then lastly, need to make sure we put our belt on before we put this all the way through, or else it's not gonna be going on. inside components are on the shaft where they need to be. We've got the bearing in this side and the bearing in this side and we're going to just gently tap this with a rubber mallet to get that bearing seated in there. And now working from the other end we'll go ahead and reinstall this locking device which basically holds the spindle tight against the two bearings. That's got an allen on it that gets tightened down. We can reinstall our handle now. Now we'll move back on to the inside and tighten down all the internal components. So we'll go ahead and tighten down the two set screws that go to our pulley. Um, you need to make sure that these are perfectly lined up. If not, your belt will have a tendency to kind of go one way or the other and it could lead to uh, wear on the belt. So we'll go ahead and find the holes for the set screws and reinstall those.
So the last thing we're going to do is install the set screw for our brake coupling. And to do that, we're actually going to slide it this way till it's up against the pulley and then get the set screw started. So we'll get that run in till it touches and then we'll back it out a little so we can slide it. And we'll put this back in position. And then go ahead and tighten it down the last little bit while it's in place. Now that everything's back together, we'll go ahead and reinstall our belt. Then we'll reinstall our RPM gauge face. And now we are back in business. Cool. So I hope this video and the uh, disassembly video helps. Um, pretty simple to take apart. Uh, there's actually some pretty good pictures in the manual too if you still have that, if you have any other questions. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps.